After Apsaris had traveled into the lands of the north of Madana, he came upon a people who lived in a high mountainous land and fortress-like cities. These people called themselves Tibetans. Apsaras went unto their cities and began teaching, and during his teachings he met a man whose name was Lama Inja. He learned through Lama Inja many ancient secrets dealing with life, herbs, and health. Apsaras recorded the teachings of Lama Inja in the Book of Rivijamas, or the Book of Cures, Sura 1. The power of the acorn made into a tea resists the poison of venomous creatures. Sura 2. Crush the acorn and the bark of the oak is antidote against poisonous medicines. Sura 3. The leaves of the oak will dissolve tumors, swellings, womb troubles, piles and hemorrhages. Sura 4. Pine needles will cure troubles of the lungs, kidney troubles, throat troubles and poisons in the lung. Sura 5. Cedar will cure troubles of the bones, aches and pains when using its leaves and twigs boiled in white fish oil, cocoa beans and rubbed over the painful area. Sura 6. Hemlock bark will reduce boils and draw out their poison. Sura 7. The leaves and bark of the eucalyptus tree will reduce a fever, cure asthma and diseases of the lungs. Sura 8. Any part of the magnolia tree will cure narcotic and tobacco habits. Sura 9. The leaves of the beech tree will cure stomach troubles, liver, ulcers, kidney, and produce appetite. Sura 10. The bark and twigs or the birch will expel worms, cure bowel troubles, painful and sore joints, and purify the blood. Sura 11. The inner bark of the slippery elm, when made into a tea, will cure bladder troubles, lung troubles, diarrhea, kidney troubles, boils, and inflammation. Sura 12. The inner bark leaves and flowers of the linden tree will cure female complaints, kidney, bladder, and stomach troubles. It is good for poultices for boils and painful swellings. Sura 13. The inner bark and leaves of the chestnut tree are used for food and is used for high energy. Sura 14. The inner bark of the ironwood is a good nerve tonic. Sura 15. The leaves of the peach will cure jaundice, fever, stomach troubles, worms, morning sickness during pregnancy, and as a laxative. Sura 16. The bark of the cherry will loosen mucus in the lungs and throat, will cure lung diseases, heart troubles, stomach troubles, and high blood pressure. Sura 17. The inner bark of the hickory is a laxative, but will also cure diarrhea. Sura 18. The inner bark of the tamarack made into a tea will stop bleeding of the lungs and throat or for bleeding piles. It is also good for liver troubles, jaundice, the spleen, insect bites that are poisonous, pains in the ear and inflammation of the eyes. Bathe the eyes with the tea. A drop of the tea in your ear will stop the earaches. Sura 19. The crushed leaves and bark of the alder will reduce swellings when laid upon them. The fresh leaves will also relieve burning and aching feet when laid under bare feet. Sura 20. Cinnamon bark will relieve gas of the stomach and stop diarrhea. Sura 21. The bark of the prickly ash when chewed will heal mouth sores and take away toothaches. Sura 22. The cones and nuts of the cypress when slowly boiled for 20 minutes will heal sores of the mouth and gums. It will also stop bleeding of the lungs and stomach. Sura 23. The inner bark and leaves of the maple will soothe the nerves, cleanse the liver, flush out the spleen and give strength to the whole body. Sura 24, the bark barriers and leaves of the bay will rid stones in the body. A strong tea made from the barriers will overcome poisonous insect and snake bites. This same tea can be put in the body as well as on the wound of the bites, stings or sores of poisonous insects, snakes and mad dogs. This tea, when taken every day, will keep you from getting contagious diseases of every kind. Sura 25, the bark leaves, when boiled and made into strong tea of the walnut, will expel all kinds of worms from humans and beasts and is an antidote for poisonous snake bites, poisonous insects and mad dogs. Must be drank and applied to the wound. Also good for female troubles. Sura 26. A tea made from the leaves of the fig will heal wounds, ulcers, venereal diseases, will remove kidney stones and heal lung troubles. Sura 27. The barriers of the juniper, when boiled into a strong tea, makes a good wash for poisonous insect, snake bites, bee stings, and dog bites. The tea will also drive gas from the stomach and cleanse the whole body. It will remove stomach cramps, pain in the stomach, and cure shortness of breath. Sura 28. 
All parts of the elder tree will heal eyes of inflammation and twitching eyelids. Will remove headaches, rheumatism, epilepsy, and venereal diseases. Sura 29. All parts of the gum tree will heal inflamed conditions of the male and female sex organs, also the stomach and bowels. Sura 30. The leaves of the hemlock, when made into a tea applied to open sores, gangrene and ulcers will cure them. Made into a powder will stop sweating feet and stop soreness of feet when placed inside of boots. Sura 31. The inner bark of the white ash, when taken as a tea daily, will cause a fat person to lose weight. Sura 32. The inner bark and twigs of the white pine, when made into a tea, will cure all kinds of diseases associated with the lungs. Sura 33. The leaves of the aloe will heal burns and skin diseases. Sura 34. The roots and seeds of the angelica will expel gas from the stomach and cure colds. Sura 35. The seeds and root of the anise will prevent sour stomach and gas. Sura 36. The leaves of the balmany will tone the stomach and rid jaundice. Sura 37. The bark, leaves and flowers of the bayberry will clean out the throat when made into a tea and gargled. Will also cleanse out the stomach. Sura 38. The bark, berry and leaves of the bay will expel gas and rid bowel cramps. Sura 39. Tea made from barrage will expel all kinds of poisons from the body. Sura 40. Tea made from broom will remove toothaches, sciatica, bladder, and kidney troubles. When made into an ointment, will rid the body of vermin. Sura 41. The bark and fruit of the buckthorn, when made into a tea, will clean out the bowels and rid skin diseases. It will expel worms and remove warts. Sura 42. When the burdock is made into a tea, will cure leprosy and venereal diseases. Sura 43. The root of the burnet will heal cuts, wounds, piles, toothache, running sore, and earache. Sura 44. The root of the calamus prevents acidity in stomach, gas, and sour stomach. The tea is also good for burns and sores and destroys the taste for tobacco. Sura 45. Teas made from chamomile and washed into the eyes will take away soreness. The tea will also cure almost every body condition. Sura 46. Caraway seeds in hot water will cure infant complaints and female problems. Sura 47. Catnip tea will relax the body and lull you to sleep. Sura 48. Cayenne will cure locked jaw and heals ulcers. Sura 49. Cedron seeds will cure fits, spasms, and nervous troubles. Sura 50. The root and seeds of the celery will reduce nervousness and induce sleep. Sura 51. Cleavers will open the bladder and cure kidney problems. Sura 52. Comfrey root will cure coughs, ulcerated, and inflammation of the lungs. Will cure most stomach troubles. A poultice of the leaves will heal sore breasts, fresh wounds, ulcers, swellings, burns, bruises, and open sores. Sura 53. Corn silk will prevent bedwetting and painful urination. Sura 54. Echinacea will rid blood poisoning, boils, fever, bites, and stings of poisonous insects and snakes. Will heal performations, gangrenous conditions, and infections of the throat. Sura 55. Fennel seeds and leaves is an antidote against food poisoning. Sura 56. Fenugreek seed taken daily will prevent food and blood poisoning. Sura 57. Fireweed will cleanse out the membranes and overcome colon troubles. Sura 58. Ginseng will heal every type of disease and illness. Sura 59. Gold thread root will destroy your desire for strong drink. Sura 60. Golden seal root will cure all diseases of the skin. Sura 61. Henna leaves and root will heal leprosy and infections of the skin. Sura 62. Hops will produce quick sleep. Sura 63. Hydrangea root and leaves will remove back pain caused by kidney troubles. Sura 64. Hyssop will cure all lung and chest problems. Sura 65. Indian hemp root will stimulate the growth of hair when rubbed into the scalp each day. Sura 66. Lobelia seeds are the most powerful relaxant in the world as created by knowledge and great care should be taken before using them. First, take a large dose of ginseng or other stimulant before using lobelia seeds. Sura 67. Marjoram, when rubbed on an itching area of the skin, will remove the itch. Is also good for deafness. Sura 68. Milkweed root will cure kidney troubles, expel stones, help overcome lung breathing problems, and run down blood. Sura 69. Mistletoe will soothe nerves, induce sleep, Cure convulsions, hysteria, delirium, and heart problems. Sura 70. 
The malign root, when dried and burned, will help overcome all lung problems if inhaled. The leaves can also be used. Hot tea made from the leaves and drank will also cure swollen joints, inflamed piles, ulcers, tumors, and swelling of the glands. Its fresh crushed flowers will remove warts. Sura 71, powdered gum myrrh, when made into a tea and gargled, will remove bad breath. Sura 72, oregonum will expel poison from the body and rid lung disease. A poultice made from the crushed plant will help heal sprains, torn tendons, boils, and swellings on the skin. Sura 73, parsley will expel obstructions of the liver, kidney stones, and gravel. Sura 74, pennyroyal will reduce a fever, remove pain from a tooth, cramps, insect, and snake bite. Sura 75, peppermint will reduce chills, dizziness, vomiting, diarrhea, palpitation of the heart, colic, gas on the stomach, and hysteria. Sura 76, the oil made from the scrofula plant will destroy cancer if boiled in hot water for several minutes and applied directly to the cancer. Also by drinking tea made from the whole plant. Sura 77, rue will cure insanity, confused mind and dizziness. Sura 78, sanical root and leaves will cure nearly all the illnesses of the body. Sura 79, sarsaparilla root will heal eye problems if washed in the eyes. Sura 80, Sassafras root will purify the blood. Sura 81, seaweed will cure obesity and gland disorders. Sura 82, Solomon seal root tea will heal poison plant stings. Sura 83, spikenard shortens delivery time in giving birth. Sura 84, tansy will strengthen weak veins and bathed in the eyes, will reduce inflammation of the eyes. Sura 85, uva ursi leaves will cure diseases of the bladder. Sura 86, vervain will cure colds overnight when made into a hot tea and drinking it until no more can be drank. Sura 87, violet will do away with a severe headache. Sura 88, wild alum root will heal bleeding gums and sores in the mouth. Sura 89, the inner bark of the wild cherry will cure asthma. Sura 90, wild grape root will cure diseases of the skin. Sura 91, wild yam root will cure extreme nervousness. Sura 92, wood sage mixed with comfrey and made into a poultice will dry out a cancer. Sura 93, wormwood is good for back pains. Sura 94, yarrow stops bleeding from the lungs. Sura 95, chudka will relieve pains when breathing if smoked or made into a tea. Like and subscribe.